I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. What brings you, Prince of Dundrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted, and love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree return.
A splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Mesdemoiselle. <coughs> 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 So often that we receive les visiteurs. It is an anomaly common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here. Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you. Power of maximal significance. There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see!
there you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Maxime Medaille. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie de notre Maître des Médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full-grown flowers. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea, as they earn for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. However, there is one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Academy de notre Maître de Médaille. Out of the way, Drongos. Some of us have got sights to see. 
I see this place is still full of friendly visitors. We passed through a while back on the hunt for clues about Mordigan, you see. Hmm. The beatific smile of the mural of the ruins of Now What brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon it. Well, if they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. <laughs> Aye, that's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. And with the luminary with us, too. I have a feeling it might be worth taking another look at those ruins with fresh eyes. We'll have to make our way through town and over the top of the mountain to get there. Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor thing's lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? Dora. My, my name's Dora. 
Mason, the, the mural was going to make them rich, and, and then they just went. <laughs> please, please help me. Oh, there, there, little one. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. I'll take the town, you search the ruins, okay? I knew you wouldn't let me down. You came for a look at the mural everyone's talking about too, huh? I guess it is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. Hmm. She's not exactly in the best condition. But yes, you're right. She's beautiful. around her neck. It looks like some kind of strange key. <gasps> Not just any old strange key. Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Was that your stomach, Veronica? You're hungry again? Sheesh. No, it was not. Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here, you'd realize that didn't sound anything like my tummy rumbling. Oh, oh shut up, you little brat. Oh, I saw where your, your stomach's eyes were like going. the creature oh, rising from the deep. I've never heard my tummy rumbling doesn't sound anything like that. Ah, oh. ah. There she blows, and just like she looked in my dreams too. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazza rich. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. Hmm. I know your game, Spikey. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich too. Stop trying to hog all the good luck, you selfish so-and-sos. Yeah. Give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? Um, I think we should probably leave, don't you? <sighs> wow. I was pretty keen to see the mural, but clearly not as keen as some. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Hmm. Huh. So you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. There you are, my trusty sidekick! <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? Hmm, it is a puzzling mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. <laughs> 